I, I think I'm motivated to create music today by some of the artists that I love. Like, I love Kendrick Lamar. Like, he's so freaking dope in every way. And I have a newfound love for him. After watching him on his episode of Power, I am an even more mega fan. So remember I told you, he's gonna be like the next Will Smith, kinda like, he's amazing in every way. And I got the, the, how can I say, the honor to perform with him one time when he came to New York and he asked me to come out on stage with him. I will never ever forget that moment. And it just, it was like one of the highlights of my music stage performance careers. So it was fun. I love you, Kendrick. So I'm motivated by like new music, new sound. Just my daughter motivates me. Um, yeah, just 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 knowing that the next level in my career is approaching. I wait. I hope. I mean, I don't. I know that I can reach out when I'm ready. I think when I'm ready. And I want to make sure that I have the right, either like, I don't know, idea for us. So I'm gonna think about that. That. I'll reach out to him when I feel the time is right. You know, he's a busy guy, so I, I get it. <laughs> um, you know what's so funny? I don't really get sick of hearing a lot of my hit records because um, I feel like all these years later that um, we're still so loved. My whole bad boy family, um, me, I'm still loved. It's just like... A blessing to hear that your songs come on the radio right after Amigos record. So yeah, you know, like I'm, I'm like really still excited that, you know, they, we get so much love even in a club. When we're in a club, right after you hear Chris Brown, then you might hear the Benjamins or you might hear Good Money. You know what I mean? And that's just a really, really dope thing. You know what I mean? To have longevity and legacy like that. I mean, I started as a kid. So, you know, it's funny. I feel like people look at me like they look like you look at the Cosby kids. You, know, you grew up with them. You know what I mean? So it's like I'm glad that I could be um, an influence and also have be, been influenced by so many uh, people. My all-time favorite music video would have to be Crush On You. Crush on you with Mayumento. I got awards for that video. And when we were filming it, never one time did we think that it was gonna be so big. We were just having fun and you know, I was just experimenting with different looks and it worked. The best part of releasing my new single, Nasty One, was the fact that it came out on my birthday. And the other one I would say is shooting the video. Motherhood is the best part of my new uh, next level in my life and career. Like, that is the best part. It's rewarding. The only thing is, it's like, okay, like if, I, if it takes me two, three hours to get ready, now I need four hours to get ready because I got two people to get ready. So, you know, those are like the little downsides. But the upsides is you always smile and you're always with your best friend. Ooh. So when I was, my mom, when she was younger, I'm gonna try to find some pictures too. She looked just like Diana Ross. So I love to watch Lady Sing the Blues. I love the outfits and stuff she used to wear and everything she did. So I, I kind of always had that over the top diva kind of thing. But I've just always been a fashionista. I've always known which sneakers were hot, what new sneakers were coming out with hot, what new Ralph Lauren sweatshirt or sweatsuit was gonna be the, the bomb. And I would wear them to school and everyone would be like, where did you get those sneakers? They don't have those in the stores yet. Where did you get? And I, I just went, my father would take us to these crazy places. Like I lived in Brooklyn. He would take us all the way out to like the ends of New Jersey somewhere and take a shop in and we would find them there when nobody else, you know, would have them. So I was, I was always ahead of the game, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I could tell you I love every part of LA, and I'm gonna tell you, I, I don't say this about every place. I do have my places that I love, like Philly and Miami, and that I those are to me like my second homes, but LA is definitely like my second home. And I'm gonna have a surprise for people real soon about LA. But um I can always, I can honestly say that every time I come to LA, it is always something really magical happens. Magical, all the time. It's always a positive vibe for me. Um, it's, people think that I'm from LA, some people. When I've been in New York, they're like, oh, so when are you going back home? I'm like, 
I, what? And, and then when I tell them, they're like, oh, I didn't know that. I thought you were from LA. So LA, I love you. You're really my second home. Hi, it's your girl, little Kim Queen Bean. And if you don't know, now you know, baby.